So let's run the game now and see if the sound is going to work. And we can hear the sound in the background. And it just doesn't... Well magic for our game. What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panyuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, you are going to learn how to use audio sources in Unity in order to set up a sound or music in general. And that is something that is very important for any game because the right atmosphere is created by, for example, the audio, the music, and obviously also the visuals. But the music is really important for the atmosphere. And we're going to see how to set that up and again we're not going to use any code so that's pretty cool as well and before we get started please hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't done so already and now let's get to the video so here under mixkit.co you can find a bunch of free sound effects for a game so free minus sound minus effects slash game there you should find a bunch of sounds and they are for free, which is great. So here, for example, the arcade game complete or approved mission. So this sound is going to be. So this is going to be the sound that I'm going to use here. So let's save it. And now we have this wave sound in our Unity folder. Now we can just go ahead and add it to our Unity project. Therefore, First of all, let's make sure we are saving the scene, as always. And then go up to Assets, and here, Import New Asset. Here you can then select the audio file that you want to import. I'm going to import that, and you can see now we have this MixKit Arc sound. Let's make sure that we have an extra folder for it. So here, Create Folder, and I'm going to call this one Audio because this will be my audio folder. Let me drag that in there. And by the way, this is just a material that I had created late earlier to test something. We don't really need it in our project, but now in the audio folder, we have our audio file. So now is the question, how does audio even work in Unity? Well, Unity uses audio listeners to act as microphone-like devices. They receive input from any given audio source in the scene and play those sounds through the speakers of the player's device. Usually our main camera contains the audio listener component and everything we want we need to do in order to produce a sound is we have to add an audio source to it with the respective audio clip. This is used for everything such as footsteps, background music, a character's voice, background noise and so forth. So if we click on the main camera, we will see that there is this audio listener component and that is basically the speakers of the gamer, so to speak. In our case, we want the player to produce the sound because the direction where the sound comes from depends on where the object is that creates the sound. And in our case, the player will be the one creating the sound. So let's go ahead and add a new component to our player by scrolling all the way down and here click on add component and here we can add an audio source like so so you see this is going to be another speaker this, uh, the main camera were the listeners so we are creating sounds with this speaker sound with this audio source and we are receiving the sound with the main camera's listener so we are listening from one spot, from the spot of the camera, but the sound could be coming from the right-hand side, from the left-hand side, depending on which object creates the sound. You can even just create empty game objects that don't have anything except for a location, and you can add an audio source to them, and they could then create the sound for you. So now you see that an audio source needs a couple of properties that need to be set. For example, the audio clip, which is actually the one that is important. And we're just going to drag the audio that we downloaded into our audio clip property here. You could have, of course, also just gone here to assets and then just search for the audio assets. And you see there's just one audio asset that I can select and that's the mix kit arcade game complete or approved mission 205 sound. Then there is this play on awake setting and this is something that you can 
used for testing. So if we now run our game, we will hear a sound. So this winning sound will appear once. This is something that you can do for testing to see if the audio source actually works and the audio actually works in general, but you want to deactivate that if you don't want to have an orchestra of all of the different sounds that you have added or all of the different audio sources that you have added to your game once you started playing it. Okay, so play on awake basically just plays it once the player is awake. So not at the beginning when we start the game, but once the player object calls the awake method. So this is a little more complicated, but it's basically once this player object is loaded into the scene, that's when this play on awake will be executed. And in our case, because the player is directly in the scene and visible, it will be run straight away. Okay, so now, when do we want to run this audio? This will be the interesting part. And this is something where we are going to, again, use our pointer down for our player. So here you can see our event trigger will go ahead and use the audio here. Quick pause. The video that you're currently watching is just a fraction of the entire course that I have to offer. So I built this complete Unity Masterclass course in which you are going to learn how to build real games and how to build them from scratch. So you're going to learn how to build a platformer game, how to build a Space Invaders clone, how to build a Fruit Ninjas clone and optimize it for mobile and export it for mobile as well how to build a first-person shooter game, and finally how to build a tycoon game similar to Adventurist, which is an endless game. So if you want to become a real game developer, definitely check out the course. You can find the link in the description and you will get the course with a huge discount, so don't hesitate, as you will not only get the course, but you will also get it in a structured manner with all of the code as well as a Q&A section with a five-star support. So get the course now. I hope to see you there. So we just need to drag the player in, like so, the player itself. And then we can select the function, audio source. You can see here are all of the components that we added to our player. And one of them is the audio source. And here we can just play it. So you can see there is this play and then opening and closing bracket, which is basically a method. And this will then play the audio source, which means it will play our audio clip and run the music. So let's select that. And in order to test it really quickly, I'm just going to make sure that I'm deactivating the glass frame. So let me deactivate it. Let's run the game and then click on the player and we can see the sound is playing. So you can't hear it, but if you test it on your device, you will see that the sound is playing. Okay, so now let's activate the glass frame once again. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to have another piece of sound and the sound would be some background music. So to keep things simple, we're going to add the audio source directly to our main camera. So the main camera will not only be the listener, but it will also be the producer of a background sound. And for the music, we are going to search well, go to Mix Kit Co. Free Stock Music, and here you can just select whatever music you want. You can use Tech House Wipes or whatever. So in my case, I'm going to use Getting Ready by RJ Stellino. I hope I said that correctly. It's rather aggressive, house electronic. So let's download that and let's save it in our project. And as I said, you can select any kind of MP3 file as your background sound. So now let's add that to our game also. First of all, let's drag it or import it to our audio here and we can just import new asset, select the getting ready mp3. It will be in our assets folder. So let's drag it into the audio folder also. And then we will have it available here. So always try to put your audio together and your materials together and all of that. Always have a clean assets folder in general with the different subfolders. So now in our main camera, we can go ahead and add a new component, which will be an audio source. So now this audio source will also have an audio clip and it will be our mix kit sound that we just downloaded. So mix kit getting ready 46. All right, and now we can leave play on awake on and we can add loop. 
what that will do is it will allow us to basically have the background music starting once we start the game because the main camera will be loaded quite at the beginning of when the game is started and then we let it loop basically once it's done it will restart that's what this loop option will do okay so here we don't need to trigger this in any way but what i would recommend to do is to play around with the volume here because a full volume will probably be a little too loud so here you can just select a value that is a little lower because it will otherwise be really too loud so let's run the game now and see if the sound is going to work and we can hear the sound in the background and it just doesn't well magic for our game okay so now we have a game with sounds we have a user input we have a winning condition we have even a winning screen amazing so of course we would now need to find a way to reset the game still but for this video we're done so see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it now you're one step closer to becoming a unity game developer and if you haven't liked the video yet please do so now as well as subscribe and also make sure to follow along in the playlist to become a real unity developer and if you want to fast track the whole development process of becoming a developer then definitely check out our unity masterclass in which you're going to build a bunch of games and while doing so learn everything you need to know about game development and well have your first couple of projects under your belt so check it out the link is in the description below you will get a huge discount and i hope to see you in the next video